And here we have the SQA 2015 National 5 Life Skills Mathematics. And this is paper one, and we're tackling question seven. Okay. Uh, Lucy has a scarf in the shape of an isosceles triangle with dimensions as shown below. Lucy wants to sew a ribbon around all three edges of the scarf. She has three and a half metres of ribbon. Does she have enough ribbon for the scarf? This is all about getting the, the perimeter of this uh, isosceles triangle. Okay, and if you've done these before, you'll realise that this is all about uh, pi using Pythagoras to get the length of this base bit here. Uh, that's x, we'll double it when we get there to get the length of the base, okay? Okay, so 100 squared, 80 x, so using Pythagoras, x squared is 100 squared, take away 80 squared. Now obviously, what's 100 times 100? Uh, 1 times 1 is 1, and then you've got four zeros there, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10,000. What's 80 squared? 8 eighths. 64, 0, 0, 6,400. So here we have here, 10,000 take away 6,400 gives you 3,600. Uh, what's the square root of that? Well, six sixes give 36. So 60 times 60 will give 3,600. So the square root of 3,600 is 60. Okay. So let's uh, go and get the perimeter. We have the, uh, just go back to the diagram here. We have the 100, we have the 100, and we have the 260s, okay? Uh, back down here again, there we go. 100 out of 100 and the 260s give you 320 centimetres. Uh, three and a half metres of ribbon, that's 350 centimetres. Uh, so she only needs 120, she's got 350, uh, so she has enough ribbon there. Let's look at number eight. Here we have it here, number eight. The diagram below, below shows a staircase Mark intends to install in his home. The dimensions of the riser, that's the height of the step, and the tread of each step are shown. Okay. Uh, for safety reasons, these rules must be applied. Okay. Now, I've just called them rule one and two so that I can uh, relate to them earlier on. Twice the riser height plus the tread depth should be 625 plus or minus 15. So there's a range of acceptable values I'll talk about in a wee second. The gradient, uh, steepness of each step, should be less than a half. Okay, and of course Mark uh, thinks the staircase is okay. Is he correct? So let's work on rule one. Twice the riser height, two times 170, 340, plus the tread depth, 300, now that gives 640. Now let's go back and see what uh, the range of values are. 625 plus or minus 15 is 625 take away 15, 610, 2, 625 plus 16, 640. And as you can see there, uh, he gets 640, which is just within the range. It's a very uppermost value. Okay, so the first uh, rule is met. Okay, let's look at the gradient. Gradient is the up and down aspect, 170 over along the 300 vertical over horizontal. Uh, that simplifies to 17 over 30. Okay. Now, 15 over 30 is a half. So it makes sense that 17 over 30 is more than a half. So the gradient is more than a half. So Mark's staircase will not meet the will meet the first rule but not the second, as its gradient is more than a half, not less. Let's have a look at number nine. Number nine. Novak is going to buy a new computer system. He researches online to find the prices from different resellers, and you're given a big table there with lots of different retailers, and the prices of keyboard, monitors, computer tower, a mouse and a printer. Okay, ne Novak uh, needs to buy one of each item. He's happy to buy these from different retailers. What's the minimum cost for his new computer system? So, obviously, you go and you look at each of the items and you home in and you can see that I've just ticked on the cheapest uh, one there. And 
not for the first time in this paper, I've had a little bit of a bother squeezing in the sum there. There's a big uh, chimney sum there, add them all up, you get £360. Okay, so the minimum cost is £360 by buying the cheapest of each of the different things he needs. Uh, Novak cannot afford on to part B. Novak cannot afford to pay for his computer system all at once. Disney can provide a financial package to buy the complete computer system. A deposit is the deposit is 10% of the cash price followed by 12 payments of £40. He chooses to buy the complete package from uh, Disney using their financial package. How much more than the minimum total cost will this cost him? So it's a, there's a comparison thing at the end. Okay. Well, let's go through Disney's price list, 40, 120, 80, and it's only the mouse that's the cheapest out of the lot, here 105. Okay, so we again have another quite big chimney sum here, add them all up, you get £455 uh, is the package from uh, Disney. Okay, so let's get the deposit, it's going to be 10% of 455 you imagine a dot in at the end, bring it in once, £45.50. Okay, so we used to pay £45.50 and um, 12 times 40, well 12 fours are 48, add the zero, 480. There it is there. Again, quite tight here, so apologies for that. Uh, add up the 480 plus the deposit. This will cost them £525.50. And uh, don't forget, earlier on, we could have got the whole thing for 360 if you picked the, the cheapest uh, ones. So there's a subtraction. £165.50 50 uh, more. Okay, so £165.50 more if he chooses that package with Disney.